Colonel Taylor, thank you so much for sitting down with us. I want to know who is Colonel Taylor, the commander of Cannon Air Force Base? Wow, uh, so uh, 20 year, 24 years in the military now for me. Uh, started out my uh, military journey at Air Force ROTC at the University of Virginia. Uh, I'm born and raised in Virginia, small town Virginia guy, so uh, spent most of my formative years there. Um, and then after ROTC, went into pilot training at Vance Air Force Base and ultimately uh, came out to fly uh, one of the aircraft like you see uh, behind us here, the MC-130H is what I started in. This is a J model C, uh, MC-130. Um, and then over the years just had the opportunity to fly a number of different aircraft. Uh, most recently qualified in the MQ-9, which is one of our remotely piloted aircraft. Um, and that is, uh, that's definitely a, a, a unique experience. Um, but uh, before getting here, before landing here at Cannon Air Force Base, I was the commander of the first special operations group at Herbert Field in Florida. Uh, and now, just most recently, obviously, uh, the commander, the wing commander here in the 27th Special Operations Wing at Cannon, and we're excited to be here. Tell us, what are the goals that you have here for Cannon Air Force Base? Right. Uh, so, uh, the mission at Cannon Air Force Base has not changed as we provide this specialized air power, uh, specifically from the Special Operations Forces perspective. But personally, one of the things that I wanted to do coming into the seat, uh, and I'll tell you that uh, General Brown, the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, has challenged us to accelerate, change, or lose. Um, and, and for me, what that means is really giving our airmen the opportunity, the wherewithal, the, the ability to, to experiment, to lean forward, and to innovate. And that is something that is very important to me, and I think that that's I think that that is largely the way that we're going to be able to get after the threats of today and the threats of tomorrow. You, sir, are the first black commander of the Cannon Air Force Base. Talk about the pressure, the honor, the accomplishment, you being in this position now in 2021. Right, right. Uh, you use the word honor, and I think that that's a great place to start because this is certainly an honor and a privilege for me. Um, you know. I think about the opportunity that I have here and, and about being the first black uh, wing commander here at Cannon Air Force Base. But I think more than that, I think about being a commander and serving our airmen. So um, as I, I got some advice from one of my mentors before stepping into the seat here as we had this uh, a similar discussion. Um, and he said, you may be the first black wing commander here, but don't be the last, right? So um, that tells me, and every day, uh, I try to just do the best job that I can in the service of our airmen. But what I will say is, I think it is particularly important, particularly in this day and time, uh, with all that has gone on here over the past couple of years, as we look in the military to, to highlight diversity and inclusion, and one of the things personally for me that I have a better appreciation for now is the fact that it means something for our young airmen to see people who look like them in positions of leadership and positions of authority because ultimately that is, that is somewhat freeing. It tells them that there are opportunities for them to do those types of things too. And I'm sure you feel the same way. So uh, again, going back to just an honor and a privilege to be here, I'm, I'm certainly glad to be serving in the capacity that I am.